Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Fabian and Anna here, and we're about to, <laughs> we're about to do our first unboxing, right? Is that what they're called? Unboxing. An unboxing. So, this came in the mail today. The small little box. I had totally forgotten I had ordered this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It probably took like three weeks or something like that, which was relatively fast. So, I'll show a picture of it on the video, but it's got a custom declaration form. Another sticker that says protect from heat, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, and it's from Tobias Lindholm. Lindholm. Tobias, Lindholm. Tobias Lindholm. Tobias. From Trelleborg, Sweden. So, I ordered some chocolate from Sweden. Some chocolate candy from Sweden. Because I was watching the H3H3 H3 podcast, which I'm a huge fan of. Hence the Teddy Fresh gear. Um, so I was watching uh, the podcast and Love, who lives in Sweden, came to the U.S. and brought everybody on the crew some candy from Sweden. Uh, some good, some bad. Um, but Ethan Klein said that the chocolate, the chocolate that I ordered, the same one, um, was better than any American chocolate or candy he had tried or that it was really good. So I'll, I'll show a clip of it, and that's why I ordered this candy right after I saw the podcast. Um, this one is just chocolate, right? Uh, no, it's uh, something else in the middle. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're so good. One of my ah, favorites. No. That's valuable oh, fika, my dude. It's still up. I just don't want the dog to get it. There's two different wow. kinds in that poly. There's one with milk chocolate and one with uh, darker chocolate, which is really good. So good. Okay. It's, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, it's really good, right? This is like my favorite candy. So ever. what is it inside? That is better than any American candy. Any of story. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I told so yeah, so I ordered that same candy the day I saw that. Uh, off Amazon, it wasn't that expensive. Um, I didn't even know what size the bag was. I just ordered whatever was there. Um, so yeah, so let's get ready to open it. Uh, so that's why it said the protect from heat because it's chocolate. So I don't think it's that, I don't know how fresh it is. Obviously it's taken quite a while to make it here. Um, Love on the podcast did say that when these are like freshly made and they put them in the stores there, um, that they taste really good. Also, uh, disclaimer, I don't know if this chocolate is actually from Sweden, because I know he brought some that were not from made in Sweden, but that were uh, popular there. So, we'll see what the bag says. Oh. Oh. Small bag. Oh, it's a small <laughs> it's a bag. <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not that small. Um, Oh, it's just one. It's just one bag. Okay. So the name of it is Poly oh. Original. So it says with a taste of chocolate, arrack, arrack butter, toffee, and vanilla. Okay. I don't even know what arrack, arrack. is. Arrack. Well, I think of butter toffee we've had. Made in Sweden, oh. so it's definitely Swedish chocolate candy. Um, I'm excited. This bag is a little bit bigger than I thought. It's not yeah, that bad. It's smaller than I had expected. Um, well, our cat. Yeah, you're, you're gonna like make some. it in the video. Yep, we're gonna try some chocolate. You can't have this. Um. Oh, it's on. Well, this one's English and this is Swedish, but yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> what was I? Oh, sweet. This is something else. Finland? That's Finland. That's a different language. Mm. Yeah, it's got two different languages here. Mm. Best by August 25th. So it's still fresh. I mean, mm. should still be good. So uh, the, the chocolate in here is... Milk chocolate and dark chocolate with the same filling. So it's got both in it. Um, all right, so I just had my dinner and I'm craving something sweet. And you're pregnant, so you're always craving something sweet. Uh -huh. 
So you say you, you know, I'm happy you're willing to try I'm this. I'm waiting for <laughs> this. I did tell her about it the day of, but we, I think we all, we both forgot that it was coming. So, um, and I was telling, talking to you about like, what are we gonna compare this to? If he's saying it's the best chocolate that he's tr like, the best candy that he's tried, so it made me think like, what do I compare this to? Uh, I love chocolate, so if we're talking like the Halloween candy. I don't know. I like baby roots. I like sneak Snickers. Snickers. Yeah. Um, uh, Reese's Reese's milk chocolate. That's it. Yeah, you like milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. So Reese's peanut butter cup. Also, the ones from Trader Joe's that are dark chocolate with peanut butter filling in it. Those are really good. So I'm kind of curious on a scale. How, how good are we gonna think these are? All right, so let's let's open it. Um, I saw in the show that they opened this and like a few of them fell out, so I'm just gonna use the the knife. Can you rip it from the corner from there? Uh, nope. It doesn't have that. Let me see. Must be a Swedish thing. Okay, we're gonna cut it right there. Coffee and vanilla, and I don't know if the arak is also a filling. Um, so they definitely look like they got exposed to heat. I don't know, right? Like that looks like or it's. Is that just how it is? I don't know. It looks like it's been melted and then solidified again. But I, I'm glad they're not stuck together though. So that's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, milk chocolate, or you want to do the dark chocolate first? I know you like milk, so what do you want? Let's try milk because that way, that way you're gonna get first taste. Alright, ready? Mm. You remind me of chocolate covered raisins or something. You know what? That's what it is, but but it's not but it's not raisins. It's not raisins. It doesn't taste like bitter raisins, though. But it's chewy. Guys, it's definitely chewy. The chocolate melted, and then the inside is very chewy, but not as hard as, what, like Butterfinger? It's not that chewy. No, it's like... And melted. The flavor is good. The milk chocolate was good. <laughs> you didn't like it so much? Yeah, it's All right. It has a weird... It's like weird. It's okay. It didn't. I taste, like everything, but it's... It didn't taste like uh, the raisins, though, but I definitely... It's got that texture. It has that weird... Yeah. Uh, raisinets. Yeah. Definitely way better than raisinets, though. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try the dark chocolate. And I thought it was gonna be cream-filled for some reason. No, I knew from the video that, that I saw that it was chewy. Alright. Dark chocolate next. Dark chocolate, I like better. Dark chocolate tasted better. The chocolate is really good. Right? I don't like the chewy thing. You don't like the chewy? It's kind of weird. The chocolate melts in your mouth first, and then you're left with the with I the don't center. I don't know what the chewy thing tastes like. Is that the arrow? It tastes like, like, <laughs> like butter toffee, though, right? I don't know. It's weird. Maybe. All right, I'm, really, I'm definitely going to try another one. There you go. Alright, one of each again. 
you go. Alright, so overall, uh, first impressions, they're not bad. I mean, they're, they're good, they're good. They're just... Mm, they're okay. I don't know if they're the best. I don't think it was... I don't think they're mind-blowing. <laughs> so, so they're, they're good. I don't know if Ethan has had that many... Uh, chocolates, I guess. Like, <laughs> like chocolate-filled candy and stuff. He hasn't been exposed <laughs> to anything else. Oh. Does it get better? That one tasted weird. Is it that Arak? Whatever that flavor is. I don't know what Arak is. I don't have my phone on me. I'm recording with it. I don't have my phone on me. Mm. Wow, that one tasted weird. Actually, what? It tasted different than the It tasted different, right? That one? It tasted more milk chocolatey than the first one. The first one tasted more milk chocolate? I agree. This one had a weird... It tasted different. A different taste. It's not bad, it's just different for some reason. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, I didn't even think to try that. I, I like the texture. I really do. The better than Raisin X. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, so it's like the bag, pretty much. I don't know. I don't think you guys can see it from here, maybe. But mm -hmm. it's just a white filling with a thin layer of chocolate. It's a white chewy thing. Does that taste different? It tasted way better than, than the Does first. It get the better? Does it get better? <laughs> the more you eat. They ate a bunch and they were like, I think maybe we just need to put like both, like a few of them. Look at this one. This, that's milk chocolate, two of them for you. I'm liking the chocolate, but I still don't like the chewy thing. No, I definitely like it. I I could just keep eating this whole bag right now, but I told family and friends that I'd save a couple for them. Oh. No, it's definitely good. I like how the chocolate melts. Mm-hmm. It gets creepy. Almost. Yeah. All right. I, I give it a solid, like, A to B plus, I guess. Or for, oh, let's uh, more generalize, like, 0 to 10. It's probably, like, an, like an 8 for me. What I give about? it a 5. You give it a five? Yeah, I don't. Oh, no. I've had better chocolate. All right, so the Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter filled cups. That's definitely a 10. Mm -hmm. um, this one's an eight. Yeah. Nope. You're still eating a lot for, uh, for it being a five, so I think you're... Maybe a six. Then. Yeah, I think you're... <laughs> You're underscoring a little bit. All right, guys. Well, that was the... Uh, I don't know if we'll ever do another un unboxing video. <laughs> um, I wanted to try um, the, the bad ones. Oh, you want to try the salty ones that they ordered? Mm -hmm. That they had? That's probably a good idea. All right, we'll see about maybe more future videos of the bad Swedish candy. And Swedish? If, oh, man. Or some, some of them are Swedish, some of them are from like Norway or... Finland, whatever, but they were, you saw the video, they were bad. Apparently, like, they love their salty and sour candy over there, so maybe we need to prep by having some airheads here and warheads. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. <laughs> That's definitely, man, I love Swedish fish. That's definitely like a... It's a good Swedish candy right like there. like a seven. All right. All right, guys. Um... 
Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Talk to you later. <laughs>